spinner makes spinners on spinners and it's all done here in their manufacturing facility in Germany. Robin, it's so clean in here. Yes, it's brand new. <laughs> it's, it's brand new, it's immaculate. Yeah, but Why is it brand new? Where were you before? Uh, so we were in our main building, but a uh, little bit tight in space. Yeah. So we wanted to have a separate production also, you know, with state of the art, uh, air conditioning to provide the precision for the machining, you know. What's made you take this like leap to have to expand? Um, you know, the demand of the customers, actually, you know, yeah. we have more and more demands to, from, from customers, shorter delivery time. We need to sell more and more machines, so we need bigger production facilities. Yeah. It's interesting to see you making so all of the parts in here. Yes. Amazing. So all the mechanical parts from our machines are produced uh, in Saulach, uh, in our in our factory, on our machines. Yes, that's that's pretty that's it's pretty, pretty cool. unique. Yeah. So we got a uh, free turret machine over here, um, two spindles, three turrets. Um, all three turrets can uh, work on both spindles at the same time, you know, to cut cycle times. Um, have more tools in the cut. Do you have such a demand for cutting your own cycle times, Dan? Oh yeah. Um, well, let's let's be honest. For for our own production, not so much because we uh, we produce um, on demand in, in in smaller quantities. But what we want to do is we want to. Uh, put all of our machine uh, lines in our own production, you know, to test them out in the field. Yeah. Ah, okay. And um, I mean, this is this is unique. The actual concept yes. that you've got here. Of yes. The way yes. the machine is it physically is. set up. It Thank is. you. <laughs> um, it is. So what we got here is is a combination of a of a ultra high precision lathe, a universal lathe, and a five axis milling machine. So uh, we got our main and sub spindle here uh, we got a turret here with uh, 12 stations all live tools we got a holder here for attachment of linear tools fixed tools and, line and linear why linear what's the benefit uh, the benefit is that the tools can be directly bolted onto the machine bed uh, so it, they're not moving so uh, smaller tolerances and uh, perfect for hard uh, hard turning okay. yeah we got a five axis uh, milling spindle on top of here, so we can machine the parts five axis from all six sides. We got a tool changer on top, so this would be the spindle in tool changing position, 180 degrees. Yeah. A tool changer comes in, so changes there's not, the parts. There's very little travel in any direction, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the tool changer comes down, we have uh, the spindles actually moving uh, uh, instead of uh, in the classical way, the, the turning tool moving to the to the yeah. spindle. Um, this gives us uh, this design is pretty unique, but it gives us the possibility of ultra high precision in this machine because we are not combining axes on top of each axis x y z, but we have separate x and z slides here on ultra precision slides, and the tools here in the turret only move in the y axis such as as well the the bx uh, the b-axis milling spindle here only moving in the y-axis who thought of this concept um the spinners so it's three brothers in the family um all of them are um, uh, mechanical engineers and um, the one of the brothers is head of the design department and he came up with the design together with his brothers That's just the first machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, what surprise have you got around this corner? Yeah. So we got uh, a couple of our TC range here. So uh, TC range are our universal um, lace, uh, one turret, one or two spindles. Uh, they can have a Y axis or not, depending on how you configure the machine. Right. All box guideways, uh, motor spindles, um, you said about box guideways, yes. and then you're talking about linear. Mm -hmm. There, there's a real mixture. There's a mixture depending on the application. You want to have bo uh, box guideways for best vibration damping, for deep uh, cuts in the material. You want to have linear guideways more where you need um, more precision movement and combi combined movement of, uh, of a, a lot of axes, so more dynamic. 
So different material as well. What are you machining? Yeah. What's the machine? Oh, that's a plastic here. Yeah. You got some bigger TC line machines here as well. So also TC line, but a little bit bigger. Okay. TC 600 and the TC 800. I mean, just look at this, yeah. right? You've just seen over there. Yeah. The plastic and the parts like this big and you can see the growth of the yeah. parts and it's yeah, always yeah. it's like showing off yeah <laughs> even though you're making parts for your own machines yeah. you're showing off the parts that you can make yeah. in here more bigger machines over here two tc 800 um we make turret parts here spindle parts um you know we use big tools like this in the machine i mean so very strong size. parts look yeah, at the size those are, of these parts those are actually uh spindles for a lathe so on oh. our own lathe, you see the raw pot going in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see it going in. So it has been pre-machined. Now we have a second operation here. And this is going to be a, a, a lathe spindle going in a microturn. Right. So machines reproducing themselves scary huh <laughs> uh, it's wonderful you can't quite get your head around it can you yeah. it's like the chicken and the egg situation you know yeah. you're making a part here that's going to go on the machine that you've just yeah. shown, shown yeah. us. see and we we just saw perfect accessibility yeah. uh, from the top of the machine with the crane nobody loads something like this no. by hand you know you need either a, a access by a crane or a robot it's interesting because actually it's testament to what your machines can do yeah. when you're showing off. Oh yeah, and that's what we are doing here. Yeah. Actually, what we have here in our production facility is much more machines than we actually need to produce our parts. Oh. But, um, you know, we, we like to test them out. So we yeah. have all our products here in our production to test them in the field, in reality. So, so those are... This is now the, the milling side of our production facility. So we got a couple of machines here. Um, those are two VC1150, spinner VC1150. It's a, a three axis VMC machine. Um, very small footprint yes. due to a very special and patented um, weight cover system we have in there. So we can have a short look. What's more popular, your turning sensors or your VMC? Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's about 50 50. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So what stands out on this VMC then? So this VMC is very small footprint. Uh, it's a 1150X X, uh, a stroke, uh, but on a very small footprint. And this is possible because of a very unique guideway cover system. So traditionally, you would have uh, a folding cover system, which uh, makes yes. the machine bigger and uh, gives you, to be honest, maintenance problems. So here we have fixed guideway covers, no folding. So the machine table can move, move right to the edge of the machine housing yes. and reduce, you know, the footprint of the, of the machine. So what type of problems are you going to get with the folding? Oh, you know, uh, on the folding covers on each segment, you have a wiper that can break, you know, and chips can go in, uh, they get stuck and uh, you have to repair that. So this is a very, um, typical wear part of a, of a free access VMCs are the folding covers and we completely eliminated that with Keeping that it simple. Yes. Keep it simple. Yes. Less to go wrong. Yes. Yes. And just keep, yeah, yes. I see what you're saying. Right. And what's the size, like the capabilities of your VMCs? Um, they start from 750X up to 1650X. Um, oh. Yeah, very unique design here as well. Oh, this is, <coughs> this is quite exciting. This yeah. is something I've, no, I've not. And what you can see it. here is a very interesting part of it, over here. Yeah. This is actually a, a turret for a lathe. You can right? see, can't you? So we are not only making our spindles, we're making our turrets, and not only the mechanics of the turrets, but also the turret discs. So this is actually a, a perfect 5 axis part. You know, you have 12 turret stations. Um, the rotation? Uh, at the top, yes, the rotation. So this would be at least 12, 13 setups on a normal free access machines where well, we can do it in one setup on, on this machine here. I've never seen this before, right? No. Robin, to actually no. see, often you see a part go on a machine, but you can't actually see where it's going mm. to go. Yeah. But there you'll see yeah, the part. Yeah, everybody can see that. Everybody machine. who has a lathe 
this is a turret disc. Yeah. You know? And look at the setup. So you've yeah. got one table here, you've got the rotation of yeah. that table. Then on the other half of the machine, you've got this huge table. Yeah. So you can do multiple setups all in one yes, go. Yes, exactly. You can do multiple setups. You can also combine the two tables by setting them on zero degrees, putting one, one big workpiece over the, the, the two, two tables. So you're very flexible. Yes. Yeah. So our job shop customers, R&D, you know, small quantity, they, they love it because they're very flexible. They are changing over the, uh, the, the setups on their machines three, four or five times a day. They're very flexible with this. So this is the housing of the turret. The turret disc we just saw goes in front here. So we have the, the complete mechanics. This is the raw casting we see. If you look over to the left, we see the machine parts over there. Yes, I see. All happening here on site. Yes. You know what I've noticed? There's not many people here. Yeah. So you, you know, there's so much automation, but you've yeah. got one person. Yes. And then you've got two or three machines. Operating multiple machines, of yeah. course, yes. So it's you're utilizing what you're selling, which I think is, you don't need to say anything then, because you're showing off exactly what yeah. the machines yeah. can do. Yeah. And you've got so much automation, like this huge Oh yeah, um, we got uh, two huge uh, five axis machines here. Those are the biggest five axis machine in our product line. They are both equipped with a uh, 14 station pallet pool, machining um, oh, yeah. the Y axis of a yeah. micro turn here. You can see. Y axis of the milling spindle. I think what we're seeing is the whole range size is interesting. Yes, it's pretty much the whole range we have here, uh, or a, a big part of the range we have here in our production facility. And, you know, this is our goal to, to provide our customers with a full range of machines. You know, uh, they should have lathes from us, from the smallest to the biggest, and milling machines, three axis, five axis. So we want spinner workshops out there. So where are we now? We are now in the assembly area, final assembly of our spinner TC line. So TC300, TC400, TC600, TC800 oh. TC over there, um, all being finally assembled here. Um, and you know, the, the, the parts you saw in our production facility, the spindles, the turrets, they all go to those machines. Are these all machines that have been sold then? Yes, all of them have customers. They are sold. So the next time we'd see these would be in a machine shop? Yes. Exactly. Okay, Lindsay, so here we are at our assembly hall, assembly area of the milling machines. On this side of the building, we have the, T uh, the VC line. And on the right side of the building, we have the U line. Um, all the machines you see here, already sold. Already sold? Yes. And I know that automation is massive for you. Yes. So where are you um, building? So, so the automation is all from spinner automation out of Stuttgart. That's not far away. That's not far away. That's just two and a half hours. So how do you connect the machines? So what we do, spinner automation gets the standard machine, the lathe, the milling machine from us, and uh, they develop the process, the automation there, the facility in Stuttgart. You're proud to work for this company. Oh yeah, I am. And it's, you know, it's, it's the technology, it's the precision. I love it. Thank you so much uh, for letting us have this tour. It's been a real Very privilege because not, Everyone allows us to, to see the machines from, uh, from scratch and to see the development. Yeah. So I think it's been a real privilege. So thank you so much. Very welcome. Thank you.